Nye the Science Guy. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill, 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 Bill Nye the Science Guy. Science rules. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Inertia is a property of matter. Bill, 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 Bill. Bill. Science guy. So, Laura Mott, I'm Dean Milley. And I'm Anna Mealy. And we're here with your Marauder News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Tomorrow's weather is mostly sunny with a high of 48 and a low of 29. This Friday, the NHS is holding the first open mic night. It is $3 to enter and $5 to perform. Now here's your PSA by All and On More. Hi, Warren Mott. This is Taylor Lass. I'm Mr. Olin. And we are hosting an open mic night this Friday in the library. So come down, it'll be $3 for admission and $5 to perform. We need musicians, singers, comedians, anything. So make sure you sign up in room 101. Yeah, we need people to come out and uh, if, even if you don't want to perform, come out and watch. You'll be able to rock out with songs like this. I'm hosting. I may even pick up my guitar and play a couple songs uh, like this one. I can't be with Hannah Montana. I'll never have a show on the Disney Channel. For the Wayne State C2 Pipeline Summer Program, please see Miss C in the South House Conference Room for more details. The deadline to apply is May 13th. Apply early. Spots are taken up fast. Any current sophomores interested in cosmetology need to pick up a packet of information from the counseling office. There are two required visits to the program. There is one, a tour of the facility and a parent meeting. The first cosmetology tour date is coming up on Tuesday, March 24th. If you want to be in the, in the announcements next year, pick up an application for Mr. Glazer in the library. You must be a current sophomore or a junior to join. Join. <laughs> if you want to be in yearbook, pick up an application outside Mrs. Arcoria's room in South House. Yeah, yearbook. Now here's a quick video on senioritis. I know it's wrong with me, Doc. When I go to class, I'm either late, 
sleeping or my homework's not done, a lot of times I just don't even go at all. Like, what's what's my problem? All right, let me take a look at you. Let me check your pulse. About uh, eight beats per minute. Very nice. And uh, deep breath. Ooh, I'm afraid it's just what I suspected. It's senioritis. No. Do you love being the center of attention? Do you get into projects or anything hands-on? Do you like to move, create, and learn by doing? Then you might expand your possibilities by becoming a member of the WIXPA. Students who would like to audition should complete an application online and register for a live audition on April 23rd. Auditions will be held on the Sterling Heights High School campus in the Performing Arts Center complex. Please visit the WCSPA website and click on admissions or see your high school guidance counselor to get more information. Charity Week is this week, March 16th through the 20th. The charities will, are Multiple Cirrhosis, St. Jude, Wounded Warriors, Chupin Soup Kitchens, and the Michigan Humane Society. Please donate any cha change or clothes next week. This, the first hour that raises the most money will win a donut party. Make a difference. Whoa. Woo! Shout out to all the band kids for getting first division and are going to the state band festival. Also, do not park in the annex par parking lot tomorrow. The U.S. Army National Asset Truck will be parked there. That's it for your Marauder News. Now here's a video on Loyola University. <laughs> Hello, Warnmont High School. It's Mr. Maloney here. Uh, regrettably, I'm here to inform you that a former Mott student and alumni, Marcus Baywall, passed away last week while training uh, for the United States Marines. Um, he was 27 years old, and he has been doing uh, a lot of work in the military for the United States over the last uh, seven, eight years. Uh, Marcus Baywall was a great leader of men and women. Um, at Warmont High School, he was a great student, a great leader, and a great athlete. He will be surely missed by our community, um, and our country's lost a, a great man and a hero. At this time, we'd like to take a moment of silence in memory of Marcus Baywall. Thank you and have a great day, people.